Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design this bamboo canteen in the SketchUp. So let's get started. So for the first step, you need to create some reference line. Uh, this two vertical line and one horizontal line. And I have already given you the dimension you need. So use this to create this sketch. Now let's go to the right side view and switch to parallel projection. And now let's use classic Bezier curve. And let's start from this front line and type the bell shift and let's click on this control point. And one more this point and click right here. If you uh, terminate the process, you can double click on this end point. Okay, we need to delete this face. Okay, now select this curve and click on this edit tool. Okay, the surface has appeared one more time, so select this and delete it one more time. Now select this curve and click on edit. Now uh, click on this control point and drag it into required shape. Okay, we got the shape that we want. Now select all these dimensions, we don't need it anymore. And you can turn this curve into groove if you want to. And now let's go to the top view. And here we are going to use Bezier curve one more time and click on this tool. And now let's start from the origin. Uh, just click on right here. And now we are going to create a leaf shape curve. Uh, to create this, you can use control point, I mean reference point or reference image if you want to. And click on this last point. And now let's deform this curve into the required shape by dragging this control point. Okay, we got the shape. Now we need to move the control point of this curve in the vertical direction. Uh, for that, we need to use some reference line. So let's create some reference line first. So use line tool and click here. And click about right here. Now select this and click on edit. And now let's move this control point in the vertical direction. And click here and let's place it right here. And click this control point and move it to. Now let's click on this front control point and move it to this point. Okay, now let's create one more reference line on this point. You can draw as much as you want. Okay, now select this and click on edit and click this control point and move it in the vertical direction. Okay, I think I need to switch this into the frame view and switch to parallel projection and let's move it over. Okay, that's perfect. Now let's uh, create one more reference line. I hope you got the idea. Please do it yourself for the rest of the control point. It's quite easy. Okay, after controlling all the control points, I got this leaf shape curve. I hope you got almost exactly like this shape. So now let's go to the frame view. And let's switch to parallel projection. And now let's create a uh, reference plane. Because Bezier curve is work perfectly on a plane. Now let's move this plane at the middle section of this curve. So let's move it. And let's click uh, right about this point. Okay, now let's go to the frame view one more time and switch to parallel projection. Now let's use Bezier curve. And let's start from this point. Let's click right here and press the bell shift. And click on right this point and this point and this point. And now double click on this point. Now let's control this curve and transform this into required curve. Okay, we got it. Now delete this face. We don't need it anymore. Now select this curve and turn it into groove. And you have to do the same for the rest of the curve. This one and this one. And delete this one. Now let's use Kabilo command on this, select this 
cuff and click on this second tool and click no now select this cuff this one and confirm it now you can select any meta from the option bar uh, just try uh, this meta and choose the best meta for you okay i don't want the surface click on this geometry i just want this curve okay if you satisfy the result you can click on the empty space okay we got it now let's use profile builder tree to create frame from this curve click on this profile dialog box and click on the library and you can use any profile from this and let's change the width to 1.5 or let's put it 7 okay and click on this second icon okay we got the frame now let's hide this frame and now we are going to create surface from this curve select this curve first and click on this second tool and choose no and click on this curve and confirm it now leave it the way it was confirm it now let's reverse this face and let's unhide the frame okay now we are going to mirror this to model to the left side so let's use ghs power bar for this right click on it and open the ghs power bar and use a mirror tool and click on this origin and click vertical direction and wind direction okay we got the surface and frame that we want now let's create a 2d sketch for the concrete slab uh, a circle and a semi circle i have already done it now reverse the sketch and now let's push pull this you can just use free hand technique to make this sketch now let's issue this 12 inch and it's to this uh, push pull this six inch okay let's make group now you need to make some arcs on this concrete slab uh, for the roof of this canteen and just use free and technique to create this arcs let's see the detail i put the segment at in and arcs length is 14 feet and 5 inch now let's create group from this arcs and now we need to move this to the uh, roof of this canteen uh, let's put it uh, the distance about 9 feet and uh, 10 inch or 11 inch it is up to you okay now let's use the cavilo command click on this icon and choose no and click this one and confirm it now set the segment about 7 you can set any more you want I don't want to create surface so let's click on this geometry okay now confirm it okay now let's use the profile builder to create a uh, bamboo slab and click on this profile dialog box and let's set the parameter uh, just like uh, you are seeing on the screen let's put the width 0 0.3 and high to 11 inch and click on this second icon okay we got it where we went now let's do the same for the another axe okay we got it both wall now let's mirror this to the other side of this canteen now let's use the jhs power bar to mirror this and click on this mirror icon and now click on this uh, origin and click along yz and zz now let's create an arc at the front of canteen to create a railing let's start from right here and the second point will be right this point and the third point will be right here now let's slide uh, this arc and now let's open the assembly dialog box from profile builder tree and i'm going to use this uh, assembly railing now click on this second icon okay we got the railing that we want uh, the height of the railing is two feet if you don't want to use this you can use the railing from the library 
Okay, this is the library. You can use the relay from here. And now close it. Okay, now let's create one more relay at the back side. Just use the same technique as before. Now select this bolt railing. We need to mirror this to the other side. So let's use the same mirror tool from the JHS Baba. And click on this origin. And click along YZ and ZZ. Okay, we got it. Now let's create another relay at the middle section of this contain at this point. We just have to use the same technique as before. First step is to create an arc and the second step is to use the assembly data box. And use the same relay as before. And you need to mirror this to the other side too. Now let's create an arc for the subbooter of this roof stretcher. I have already drawn some reference line. And second point will be here. And the third point will be right this point, which is outside of this roof stretcher. Now we need to scale it down uh, at the inside, I mean to the inside of this roof stretcher. And let's click about right here. Okay, now we need to draw some circle at the start of this arc. Uh, you can put any more segment and you can put any more radius you want. Okay, now let's rotate this uh, about YZ. Because we need an inclined circle. Uh, you can rotate any amount you want. I just want a perpendicular arc, I mean circle on this part. Okay, now we need to mirror this to the other side. So use the same mirror tool. And click here, click on long Y and click long Z. And let's uh, delete this surface. And delete this one too. Now let's use the Kabila command one more time. Click on this part and click on this second icon. Choose no. And now we need to select these two circle And confirm it. Okay, the result is pretty funny. We need to check the method. Okay, let's click on that. Okay, that method is pretty good. Uh, I don't need surface. So click on this geometry. I just need first geometry and confirm it. Now get into this group and now select all the arcs, press Ctrl A. Now let's open profile data box and set the parameter like this and use the thermal material. Click on this second icon. Okay, we got the result. Now close this profile data box and now let's uh, select this original circle and scale it up a little bit. Okay, now we need to mirror this. Now let's use the same uh, mirror from the JHS Baba. And click on this midpoint. And click along YZ and ZZ. Okay, now let's use the Scavilo command one more time. And select this original X. And click on this second icon. And click on No. And click on this X. And now let's click on this second circle and confirm it. Okay, choose the second geometry and confirm it. And now let's get into this new group and press Ctrl A to select all. And now let's open the profile dialog box one more time and use the setting. And I'm going to use dark color for the material and click on this second icon. Now we need to copy this at the front and back of this canteen. So simply let's use the move command and copy it and place it at about 4 feet at the front. And copy this one and let's move and 
place it about 8 feet from front. Okay, now we need to uh, rotate this. So use the rotate command. And let's rotate about uh, ACZ. And let's use the free end technique to rotate this. Okay, now let's rotate the back support. Okay, modeling process has finished. Now you can place any component on the model to bring it to life. Well, that's all for today guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.